At the far end of my local woodland, tucked down on a steep garlic-covered slope, live a family of badgers, who I've been spending a lot of time watching and filming this spring. European badgers are part of the mustelid family, which also includes otters and pine martins, and their range extends from Britain across Europe all the way to the Middle East. They live in small groups known as clans, which typically include four to eight individuals. They're also the architects of the mustelid family, with their underground sets extending for well over 50 meters, and they can be passed down from generation to generation. Badgers are opportunistic omnivores, eating everything from snails, slugs, to berries and carrion. But earthworms make up 60% of their diet, and they can eat as many as 200 in a single night. A badger's sense of smell is particularly useful in their day-to-day -day lives, and it plays a vital role in their communication. They have several scent glands, like all mustelids, which produce a variety of odors used for distributing information, such as warning signals, mating status, and to tighten the bonds between individuals of the same clan. When it comes to breeding, badgers can mate at pretty much any time of the year, but due to a handy reproductive technique known as delayed implantation, a female badger will only have one litter a year. Litters can vary in size, but typically have one to five cubs, with twos and threes being the most common. Watching badgers requires a lot of patience, but in principle, can be pretty straightforward. First of all, you need to find a set. And if you've already found one, you need to make sure that you have permission from the landowner to be there. Then find an area some distance away to sit downwind of the set so that the badgers can't smell you. Make sure you arrive well before dusk and that you wear dark clothing to help you blend into the background. Most importantly, don't forget to pack your binoculars. It's also very important that you don't make any noise and that you don't let the badgers see, smell or hear you.